let us discuss today fear a poem by gabriel mistral let us first of all read the poem i don't want them to turn my little girl into a sallow she would fly far away into the sky and never fly again to my straw bed or she would nest in the eaves where i could not comb her hair i don't want them to turn my little girl into a sallow i don't want them to make my little girl a princess in tiny golden slippers how could she play on the meadow and when night came no longer would she sleep at my side i don't want them to make my little girl a princess and even less do i want them one day to make her queen they would put her on a throne where i could not go to see her and when night time came i could never rock her i don't want them to make my little girl a queen so this poem is actually about the fears of a mother the mother takes few characters and say that i don't want my child my daughter to be so this mother is quite different from the majority of mothers who want their daughters and their sons to be in the highest place in the society and also they want to see their children grabbing and collecting lots of material things but this mother you may wonder is it selfish or not let's see anyway this mother says that i don't want my little girl to be free and turn into be a sallow i don't want her to be a, a bird because she will fly away from me she will find better things and will never return to my straw or very poor place and house and also she will go to she will go to higher places she would nest in the eaves and she will never come down and the mother will be away from the daughter so she don't want she doesn't want that to happen and also the mother does not want to see her daughter as a princess even though the girl will have golden slippers she will lose things in her life like she will not have freedom she won't be able to play on a meadow and be muddy even and also she won't be able to be near the mother so the mother says i don't want you to be a princess the last stanza says that i don't want you to be a queen because everyone treats a queen in the highest possible way so the girl will be on a throne and also the mother who is poor will never be able to reach the daughter and she won't be able to be near her and also put her to sleep so in this way when we consider the whole poem actually it looks like the mother is a little bit selfish because she wants to protect the child on one hand and keep the child only for her yes that can look very possessive and also very much selfish but isn't there too much love isn't there too much of need to protect the daughter because she knows that when the daughter is far away then there can be danger there can be so many risk so the best thing the mother would say i need to protect you i need you to be near you so there is another factor here that is more than material things in life that we gather what really matters is a love is the relationships that we have that is the best thing that we should all collect and also continue having continue continue thinking about throughout our lives so the writer brings out this very beautifully with a lot of visual images simple language and symbolism so the sense of the poem the fear is this every mother feels tensed and worried thinking about what would happen to their children in the future the mother in this poem is anxious about losing her beloved daughter or being distanced from her the bond and the love of the mother for the child is too much that she does not want her daughter to be a sallow and metaphorically fly away to be with the others in the society such as with the friends as themes the writer brings out the genuine love of a mother fears of a mother 
and also shows that more than material success, what matters is a relationship between a parent and a child. It's more precious and sacred. Techniques-wise, the writer uses comparison, controls, visual imagery, and simple language. And also, after thinking about the poem and going through your notes, you can think about answering this question. What is the speciality and difference of the mother in fear that makes her remarkable among other mothers? So the keywords of the question are what, speciality, difference, remarkable mothers. So you can first of all talk about generally about mothers. A mother is someone who is generally very possessive, very much loving for her children. And she never wants her children to be away from her, true. But also she has a kind of a bigger dream than that, that is to see how her children great, go to great heights or achieve the best things in life and be successful. And in most of the mother's terms, that success comes in a materialistic meaning. If the child has a good job, has good education, has a lot of money and a house and a car, things like that, that is some kind of, you know, great happiness for a mother. But the mother in this poem is quite different. None of these things matter for her. What matters for her is the child being near her. Whether the child is going to be happy as a princess, still, she does not want to think about that. She focuses on the fact that what the child may lose when she become a princess. So like that, this mother seems quite different from all the other mothers. Very remarkable mother because she's not a common mother who goes after or even who teaches her own daughter to go after material things. But she would rather like to recommend love, virtues, values and relationships, human relationships in life. So isn't that a very remarkable factor as a mother? And the writer does it very effectively.